Hey, special episode of the podcast. I've got Frenchie joining me, very special guest. Uh, sorry, I missed last week's episode, but it's free, so fuck you. Uh, what's not free is tickets to my comedy festival show. It is the best show that I've ever done, and I want to see you there. I've only got two weeks left. The weekend shows are almost full. Get your fucking tickets. I want to see you there. It's been killer every single night, and the crowd work has been absolutely fire. One time, uh, I think this was last night, I had a guy come in, and he... He uh, was from Frankston and uh, he was betting on crackhead fights and uh, one of them was a woman. So every night's different and every night the crowd work rips. So come see me live. Ticket's on sale now. You can use Afterpay as well if you want to get it on tick. See me. It's killer. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Spearhead Sundays podcast. Very special guest, Frenchie. Welcome, mate. Hello. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Happy Sunday, guys. Happy happy Easter. Yeah, it's it's Easter. We're recording this one on Sunday. I need your advice, man. I've uh, I've made a terrible mistake. Um, I don't know if you struggle with this, uh, you know, staying consistent with podcast episodes and like not missing episodes. Okay. I thought you were going to say erection difficulties and I'll be like, yes, I do struggle with that. Everyone does fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, podcast. everyone, I don't know about that, but you know, it's good <laughs> to be open and honest on the show. That's what it's all about. Um, so I, uh, Oh, I often struggle. It's called Spearhead Sundays, so it must come out on a Sunday. You know, I've kind of shot myself in the foot by naming it a day. It has to come out on Sunday. Uh, right. And I often struggled with missing episodes, uploading them late. People would get understandably angry. Actually, not understandably. It's free. Do they pay? Yeah, no. exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. free. You know what? Fuck you guys. That's the answer. Um, no, I uh, to, to motivate myself this year to not miss an episode... I started off this year by say by uh, by organizing with all of the listeners a suicide pact, where <laughs> okay. if I miss an episode, we all go to the West Gate and we jump. Um, now I don't know if you noticed last Sunday the traffic along the West Gate was really bad. Ooh. I missed an episode. Oh fuck! And everyone yeah. just went straight there. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, I think the the whole uh, the water underneath the level raised. A lot. So, so no, there are so many bodies in there. <laughs> so no three strike policy, just straight miss one, well, it's over. Look, I would love, I'd love to give myself an out because at the moment people are waiting for like a date. You know, when are we going to go? That's what are we going to do? Yeah. So I'm just, I'm. That's why you're kind of here. Is I'm, is I'm wondering, does a does a good guest episode make up for a missed episode, and we don't have to fulfill the suicide pact? I don't think it does. I'm gonna be oh, come on, <laughs> Sorry, bro. You can guys. work with me here a little bit. Sorry, guys. No, I think it. I, I think it does. Or well, mm. I think there's also. Uh, it's a leap year, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. So you got to do one less Sunday. Well, look, I don't want to be encourage any more leaping. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, look, I didn't. I don't know about this uh, pact, but I think there's there's definitely ways you mm. can make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe okay. like a free, you usually do 50 minutes. Yeah. Maybe do 55 minutes. Okay. That'll do. All right. 50, That'll do. 55 with Frenchie and uh, we're, we're back on. We're not going to go to the Westgate. What if we do 49? Oh, <laughs> fuck. Then it's, you know, then it'll be Westgate Wednesdays. <laughs> that is like every podcast has like these weird little uh, things. Yeah. Yours is a suicide pact. So yeah. That's, uh, a, that's in, a new one. In hindsight, probably mm. not the best because... Because there's no win for me, you know? I'm just being held hostage by my own audience because if I don't do an episode, it's all over for me. Imagine yeah. the headlines. Yeah, there's there's levels to it. I think you could have gone with, oh, if I don't, if I miss an episode, I'm going to brush my teeth with soap. Could have could have done that. Yeah, it could have started there. <laughs> yeah, started there. You, you, know. <laughs> you need to work your way up. Yeah, the, okay. Well, that's, that's good. Okay, all right. So how about this? We're going to reframe this. The suicide pact is over, yep. um, mostly because everyone listening is dead it's now. Dead, it's dead. Um, but for all listeners. of the all the new batch of listeners, right, that are here, uh, if I miss an episode, uh, I will brush my teeth with soap. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. No, or... A guest has to do it for you. So Luke, <laughs> you, Luke has to do it for you. Luke has to brush my teeth. I think it's funny are you sitting there like this and yeah. then him coming over. and It's my punishment. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, great. All right, sold. Well, thanks, mate. What have you been up to? The Easy. comedy festival's happening. Uh, people can grab tickets if they also have a time machine to see you last week. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so funny is like, I just like came down. Like, I just enjoy filming and doing podcasts with you, mm. uh, you guys. And then... I realized not one of the things I do with you is going to help 
promote my show, so I really should have no, thought about it. No, because your performance in them was horrible. Okay, I meant, oh, they're coming out later. <laughs> they're coming out later. Yeah, yeah that is, it is, uh, it's always a weird thing in festival where it's like, it's so good, all the boys are together, and we, we're always like, man, if we do a bunch of stuff together, we'll promote the fuck out of each other, and then the videos, because we're doing stand-up every night, yeah. never come out until yeah. uh, it's too late. And most of the crew are... Uh, comedians, so they're mm. fucking lazy cunts. Me and you yep. are the only ones who write shit. I yes. swear to God. Yes. Every time we meet up, we've had scripts, we've had stuff ready to go. Everyone else is like, oh, fuck, I didn't get to it. Eh? I'll be in yours. I'll just be in yours. I'm like, yeah, yeah well, good, because I needed actors. But mm. like, like every time, I reckon. is um, What was I going to say? I'm not sure. Oh, fuck, I had something good to say. Did you? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Move oh. on. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Hello. Fuck, that hey, scared me. You were doing it on this wall, so I was like, I'll sneak through. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the worst spot. <laughs> <laughs> right, hello, do you, hey, do you want to join us on the podcast? Yeah, come on in. Mic? Come on uh, in. Yeah, if you, if you grab that mic and live, plug it in. This is live comedy, baby. Ah, uh, fuck. I was, I was thinking, like, anyone who's listened to the Luke and Lewis episode with you on it, Frenchie, is going to go, all right, another one, round two. Yeah, we'll just talk about something different. And, yeah, um, I mean, it's Spearhead Sundays. It's much less professional. you got to plug it in. Luke. It's already more like, relaxed. I'm just, I'm just like having a chat. Like yeah, just having a chat. Talking yeah. about suicide for the first ten minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, was good. it was good. I was saying, Luke, that no. I, my, I organized my suicide pact. If I missed an episode, we'd all go to the Westgate and jump. All the listeners together. People messaging me saying you didn't hold your end up from the bar. <laughs> right. Disappointed. Right. Oh, uh, so okay, so maybe I didn't lose any listeners ever. It was like a real you first. Everyone like, was yeah trying to get rid of you. That was, yeah. Yeah, fuck. All right. Well, well, you know, now I'm now I'm disappointed in the listener. Yo, I saw this crazy Law and Order SVU episode once. I love SVU. I watch a who, lot of them. Who would have thought that like a show that's like exclusively about rape, like every episode yeah, yeah. is about rape, or, would yeah. be so good. Yeah, sex crimes unit. You know, but that's but they the but what's happened is that almost every episode they just jump the shark. It starts on yeah. one rape and then they're like next minute they're they're Sit busting. in the middle, man. A dragon, or I could yeah, just, just be like middle. I could be like the Andy guy come on Conan and just laugh be. at you guys at oh, the well, side. Oh, you just won't be in frame. All right, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Luke, so, welcome, Luke Kidgel, to Frenchie's episode. <laughs> How you going, Luke? Sorry for crashing. No, I like man. it more on the couch than Mary. The couch yeah. boys. That'd mm -hmm. be a good podcast. This is such a weird couch. That's isn't a it? good couch. I'm actually the first time I've sat properly. It's a little too far back. It's a bit yeah. deep. It's real deep, and also it has three cushions, and they don't really fit. Yeah, so what's this suicide pack thing or have you already finished okay. So I said, look, obviously you've... <laughs> you've Just not many comedians make a suicide pack with their audience. Well, look, I thought I thought it would keep me motivated because, <laughs> because uh, you know, I've got a real problem with missing episodes on Spearhead Sundays. Yeah. It's called Spearhead Sundays. It has to come out on Sunday. I miss episodes. People get angry. I thought at the start of this year to keep me motivated, I organise a suicide pack. If I miss an episode, we all go to the Westgate and jump. Right. Sounds and, reasonable. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, there's, there's been a few close calls. Like, you know, it'll get to like 11.50 and traffic on the Westgate starts real packing up because everyone's on yeah. the way. <laughs> they want to get there early. And then the episode will drop. Everyone goes home. But uh, I missed an episode would last you, week. Would you rather be early or late to a suicide pact? You want to be or late, in the middle. You'd then end up having some second thoughts because you'd see <laughs> what's <laughs> happened and be like, I don't know if this is for me. Yeah, yeah. you want to be right in the middle caught up in it. And, and you don't have time to think about it. If yeah. you're there, you don't want to go first, right? Uh, but yeah, going last, you'll just be like, oh, well, no one's going to know if I don't do it, you know? Yeah. You want to be right in the yeah. middle where there's enough peer pressure and not enough thinking. So anyway, this SVU episode I watched, uh -huh. um, it starts off on one rape or one death. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then uh, it ends up being, there's a psychiatrist who convinces people to kill themselves. Ooh. Yeah, but like in a real subtle way. Oh, using like mind tricks without actually saying Without it. saying kill yourself. Yeah. It's like people come in like, oh, I'm real depressed in my life. And, yeah. and he's really subtle like, kill yourself. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, he, he does, does it like while, while coughing. He does like tricks. <laughs> so one of them go in undercover and yeah. then like try to get him. It's fucking wild. That yeah, sounds I'm, like a good episode. I've never watched any of those crime shows. Oh, yeah. Really? NCIS, SVU, yeah, but that Law and Order. Law and Order is the only good one. SVU. And SVU, SVU is the only good one. Yeah. sex crimes. Yeah, the regular right. Law and Order is kind of shit where it's like, mm. ooh, murder. Cool, bro. Do Grow something up. fucked. Yeah. Yeah, do something fucked. There's like Where's SVU order? stand for? Sex Violence Unit? Uh, special Victims Unit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And Oops. it's always like... Imagine the, the, the guy pitching it in the room. Like he goes, all right, so we've got law and order, regular murder and stuff. 
that's great, that's cool. How about spin-off show that's almost exclusively about sex crimes? Um, We're talking it, pedophilia and rape. Imagine pitching that. Yeah. It doesn't think, sound fun. I'm um, sold. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird that like, and then their main market is like middle-aged mums all around yeah, America and women the world. fucking love it. They love yeah. that shit. Yeah. What's up with girls liking all the weird shit on Netflix? Like all the, all the murder, crime, bro, true crime. True crime. It is, it is very weird that it's always women. I, I go around fake crime, like Batman. Well, I don't, I don't get women watching the, the stuff because that's like of all of the things you could watch, like that's statistically the most likely to happen to them. Mm. So are they like getting tips? Are they getting tips? On how to avoid it. Sometimes it's just fun for them. That gets the heart racing. It's Maybe like, that's why ooh. men like war films. Oh, fucking Because like war that's, stuff. you know, so statistically I. pretty like the likeliest of things to happen oh, to Wait, men. would you enlist if we went to war? Depends like, on the war. Have I told you about this? We've talked about it, I think. Yeah, my friends and I have this running joke that, because we we're talking about, for there was like a month late lockdown where my brother just full and convinced me that China were going to invade us. Yeah, I, mm. they may. Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually, talk about that. It's it's actually not, not crazy. Look, it's not that insane to think that China is a very, you know, expansionist state. America's power is declining. China's they wouldn't on the have it back. I don't think they would in summer. To, to be honest. <laughs> it's too fucking hot. Because be yeah, they'd rock up in Townsville on the beach and be like, this uh, place sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want houses here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we have this uh, in joke in my friendship group because they mm. all have like essential jobs mm. kind of thing, like actual jobs. Yep. Your real jobs. Yeah. yeah. Whereas uh, we just fucking tell dick jokes. Well, yeah, I think they would do conscription via most essential to least essential. Oh, Particularly post COVID, yes. we all figured out what was essential. And yeah. what wasn't? And the arts were not essential. So we'll be I would first. entertain. We'd be, well, would you want we'd us be as in the fucking trenches on the beach in Townsville, Good all of us together? Back in the Surely trenches, you'd want tradies as your first enlisters, though. Well, if it's a war against Asia, absolutely, because they'd be able to employ their racism overtly, <laughs> and it would work really well. You know, like China. China would be fucked if they invaded regional Perth. And now and half of them are already probably in Bali. So <laughs> that's not as far to go. Yeah, yeah we just send in the demo division. <laughs> that, <laughs> they'd already be there. They'd be there smashing one dollar beers. They'd be ready to yeah, go out. Yeah. But yeah, every time I leave the pub early now with my mates, they all salute me and say thank you for your service. Yeah. That's just sick. in advance like because they know I'm going to be the first I one like to go. That. I my my mine mine depends. If we got invaded, yes. If it was some weird like the wars that we have now, no way. Because I'm like, I don't, is this essential? I, w- I would okay. I would based on percentage of mm-hmm. people who are going. Like if we, if all yeah. the lads were going, lads going, it'd be like a boys going. trip. I'm hundred yeah. percent going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna be that one coward who stays behind. Yeah. yeah, I don't agree with the principle of it. Nah, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's I think. Go. Um, I but but I th- I, like, I was not gonna say I also don't agree with the principle of it. But it depends on like, sounds like World a great War last if, weekend. If we that was were, the best part about World War Two is that there was a clear good and a bad side. Like yes. that's why it's such a sick war. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's such a shame that the bad guys won. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I said mm too, too quickly you, to that. You comment. agree? You didn't hear what I said? Agreed, and then went heck of a minute. Oh, wait a process minute. It. I did a process. You did a little misdirect there. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I think if, if oh, it was you didn't like realize a, this was a fascist podcast <laughs> before you came on. Did come you? on, boys, that's enough. Don't get me cancelled. You were the one who said it. Suicide you said it. You said it. We're yeah. just we are dragging us into this mess. Yeah, absolutely. No, I think if if we if we were uh, defending ourselves against an aggressor, yes. But, you know, I feel like being my height, like I'm just going to get taken out first. I can't take cover. Get down. I can't. My down <laughs> is like the average height for someone else. I'm fucking done. They'd have to make like an XL trench yeah. for you to be in. You Absolutely. You'd be in the... You'd have you'd to make a special, mine. Spe- <laughs> you'd be in an extra lanky unit, but I think there'd be like special special units and you'd yeah, be Yeah, there's in the that. horse brigade but, and there's all yeah. the basketballers. He runs yeah. out with Andrew Bogut and the lads. Yeah, <laughs> all the expendables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd just throw me in there with Andrew Gaze. Yeah. No, I reckon- you know what though? Because they would be like... They'd be instructed to go for a headshot so mm. that'll aim up at you boys we'd be sweet running in behind you yeah you know, that's right because the bullets will be whizzing over our heads yeah, we're, we're in the front we're at the front right they're shooting at our heads it's kind of unlikely that we'd get they'd hit us if I'm bobbing and weaving you're underneath just going and also ahead. also wait Chinese people are quite small so they'd be like no, shooting no, no. up yes. also if you go okay camouflage mm-hmm. uh, 
burka, not burka, balaclava type thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fake head on your chest with a bulletproof yeah. vest underneath because that's the head. normal height of a yes, head. I'd be like, good. oh, that must be the head. That's where heads are. Yeah. No, he's a giant. <laughs> Metal underneath. Yes. Not Honestly, dead. Fucking that's good. Invisible. You've been to Asia before. Yeah. I think you'd run out into the battle with the Chinese and then it'll just stop, marvel at you, then take get a, a selfie. <laughs> oh, a oh, yeah, that, that happened heaps when I was in Thailand. It, they would just fucking take selfies. Yeah. It's totally right. I think they'd just stop, worship you as a god like C-3PO when he meets the Ewoks. Yeah. Bit of a niche reference. Yeah, that's good. I yeah. like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. That is good. C-3PO. <laughs> He's, okay, I'll tell you what's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Is that C- people like C-3PO and hate Jar Jar Binks. 3 bro is just as annoying as I Jar agree. Jar Binks. That you pr- robot you probably sucks. don't recognize me because oh. of my red arm. I am a downer little robot. Don't do that. And he's yeah. just, at least yeah. Jar Jar Binks is up for it. He's like, mm, we should touch some boobies. You know, I heard, I read. <laughs> I remember that quote. Yeah, I remember that. That was good. I, I read, this made me really <laughs> He angry. was the menace <laughs> in <laughs> the Phantom of the Menace. Phantom <laughs> Menace. Um, I read uh, that, uh, that, you know, that's what uh, in Obi Wan, the new series, there's going to be no Jar Jar. They're doing the Obi Wan series in that time period where Jar Jar was a big character. He's not going to be in it at all. They've confirmed. Right. Disney is so dumb because they realize now that everyone kind of loves the character. Yeah, there would have been so much excitement yeah, if Jar Jar had have been in there. Yeah, yeah, like imagine if he was walking around like, "Oh, Misa, I want to touch a pussy." You know, that'd be good. You know, that's why he's not in the series. He works in Parliament House at the moment. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's where all the scandals yeah. are coming have, from. Have you seen Fanboys? Fanboys, no. It's a sick film about these three nerds. Are we going to know when this stops recording, the camera? It doesn't stop. Oh, it doesn't? It keeps going, bro. Fuck yeah. That's great. Um, it's, a, it's a film about three or four nerds who are mm-hmm. go to watch. One of them's got cancer, so they go to steal the first episode of episode one. They ah. want to go watch it before it's out of the cinemas because their friend will be dead by then. Yeah, yeah, cool. And so they, they're on these shenanigans and there's all these other sort of Star Wars nerds they run into at these conventions, blah, blah, blah. Seth Rogen plays a character. Mm-hmm. Like he's like a drug dealing Star Wars fan. He's got a massive Jar Jar Binks tattoo on the back. Yeah. He's like, I haven't seen the film yet, but I heard this character is going to be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking sick. It's so funny, man. The, the, that happens where like, you know, people that are dying get to see movies before they're out. But it's always those those feel good stories. It's always like one kid. And you know, there's got to be at least 3000 that are like, oh, I wanted to see Star Wars too, but they only ever pick one. Yeah, you know? true. And it's just, it's just and it's publicity the for one. the it's movie. Not, that's never the ugliest one. No, you, you, nev- you, you know, in those Make-A-Wish ones, you never see You can't see make all the wishes kid. come true. Oh, no. It's a lot of wishes. Yeah, it is. That's true. It's a lot of wishes, you know. How make a wish, guys. It's how does that, out of all of one, them. One wish. How does that uh, organization work? Do they literally get submitted a bunch of wishes and they try yeah, and so grant they just have, as many as possible. They just have a fuckload of money people donate to it and they just do nice things for kids who are probably going to die. It's a right. really, really nice charity. I mean, they don't, if you if you want to talk about like, uh, are they actually doing anything to help the kids? Not really, but they get a nice day. Yeah. And, um, they meet John Cena. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> that's or cool. do they? <laughs> what do they? Make, you know what? <laughs> Make a wish is kind of like uh, the the world's first cameo, you know? Like cameo, you pay a few a few bucks and a celebrity will will roast your mate. Yeah, make a wish is kind of like oh. the first iteration of that. I wonder Except what percentage of money you need. What percentage of the it. celebrities get take money? There's no way they take money. No, some can't. of them definitely do. You some really? of them are fucking cunts, man. Hundred percent. You th- really think? Or that be at least? Or that be at least? I need a five star flight. I need five six star accommodation. I yeah, need they, would this, yes. this, they would do that. They would do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, well, that's that's another thing. Like, is is are all celebrity endorsements of charities free? Probably not. Mm. I'd be interested to know that. I don't know. There's the the whole world of charities. Yeah, they wouldn't be actually. They're no, they're businesses. They're just, it's yeah. like universities, kind of. It's just like yeah, a scummy nah, business. The celebrities will be getting paid a, for those. A ones. lot of the cha- a lot of the whole world of charities is like. There's a lot of charities that that spend like most of the money on admin and employees and the C like the CEO of charities will get hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's like, they probably should because otherwise a charity that big wouldn't run. I wouldn't have but then decent. Yeah, how the much of that money, like really, really big ones doesn't like, I think pink ribbons actually kind of not that good for actually doing things. Yeah, People say that they say, if you give 20 bucks to a charity, only five bucks is going to like the cause 15 yeah. is going for like admin and, and blah, blah, blah. And, 
and the Christmas party and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had, um, I don't we should start a charity. Fuck, bro. You got to start a religion. That's the one where you make the money. Yes. Start, and then you'd have to pay tax. You have to do fucking mm -hmm. nothing. I'm not sure if you saw, I dropped a video during uh, quarantine lockdown. Lockdown. Yeah. It was um, make a wish kid during lockdown. Oh. <laughs> it was like, what's your wish? He's like, I want to meet LeBron James. Like, uh, via Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Right. Rough. Especially the Melbourne ones, they fucking had a while to wait. Oh, dude. How's hell? How's your show? Oh, you wait, it's your podcast, never mind. No, you can ask questions. It's a chatting podcast. How's your show been going? Pretty good, man. I went uh, two nights ago. Thanks for coming. Do you guys want to do the rest of the episode? I Thanks can for leave. coming, guys. Yeah. yeah. I've only got one show to go, so I'm glad. I'm, I feel like I've... Uh, at the end of the festival, you guys have got a whole nother two weeks. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm tired. How are you feeling, Luke? We've never done the full run. I was exhausted this time last week. I was yes. a mess. Yeah, yeah. So you. many people reached out to me, like by a text. You sent me a love heart over text. That's yeah. how my, that's how shit I looked. Yeah, I that's said, brutal. Wow. I said you need to go to fucking bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna do all these editing. And I'm gonna, you need to sleep, cunt, or you're gonna die. Like we got through week one. I was expecting to feel really tired, like maybe now, but more so week three. Luke gets to day four and is <laughs> and is a corpse. You know what the problem was, and this is like okay, I've done enough festivals that I shouldn't have fell for it again, but I did. The big thing is never go out the first weekend. That's all went out. All <laughs> it was your fucking birthday. Yeah. Your fault. But my birthday always falls on the can first we weekend. Do, can we go out on the third weekend? Yeah. Or something? yeah. 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 <laughs> that really was, yeah. I think, uh, oh, where did you fuck up? I think it was when I was at karaoke. I looked <laughs> at the time and it was 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. And then I had an hour drive home. I reckon that was when I when I realized maybe I'm doing the festival incorrectly. <laughs> can we can we do like a juice bar or something? Like a cleanse day for your birthday <laughs> Let's get to like Mornington Peninsula hot spot. Springs, yeah, that'll be just sick. with the lads. That would actually be, that'd be sick. great. That'd be that a good vlog good. too. That'd be yeah. fucking pop. I on think. The top. I think. You know what I think needs to happen is is next year. All the boys need to come the week before festival. We film everything. The videos come out before festival starts so you guys can sell some tickets yep. and we all collaborate. And then we can have one night out the first day everyone gets here and we have the whole week to recover. Oh. Then the festival starts. Colossal waste of money but would be efficient. It's not a waste of money, but that's that's work. That's make it, making money because we're selling more tickets. That's what I think. I, I think I could have probably do a day or two before. A whole week is a lot. I reckon Since actually, down for a month. Yeah. If we, we, we never organize it because we all, we're all friends. We should organize like the next festival, like two days or three days or whatever, a massive just shoot marathon. This yeah. sounds like more group chat admin than podcast nah, I like it people like it here in the behind the scenes of yeah. uh, you, you our know, lives you know I fell asleep at 7.30pm on my night off yeah and then I woke up at 11 and then watched the four hour Snyder cut of Justice what League till 3am. What are you doing? See, that's yeah. your fucking well, problem. You, You're yeah. like, oh, oh, I'm so busy. And then you watch the Snyder cut. Well, you, you were like, you were like, have a night off. Yeah. Don't do any work. So I did do that. that. Watching a four hour film is not a night off. Did you, that's what. Did you fall asleep on the couch or in bed? Uh, I started falling asleep on the couch, then I went to bed, then I woke up wired at like 11 because oh, it was 11 no. p.m. I'm not yeah. even usually in bed by then anyway. Oh, mm. no, yeah. What's, so what's it like? What's the Snyder Cut? Well, like? I don't even I remember the, the original. I watched so the first hour. Good. The first hour was good. It was great, but I just don't even, I have no recollection of what the actual one you was. You know what? Yeah, me neither. I noticed ago. that watching the first bit of it, I was like, I don't remember. I don't Any know how this. this is different. I think the movie was so. No, I think they actually reshot it all. Yeah, they reshot heaps of it. The movie was so like kind of rubbish and weird that uh, I, I can't remember it. There was a big bad guy, Superman dies maybe? Yeah, I that can't happened remember. in the both, I think. I don't know. It was very Spoiler. confusing. Spoiler. Well, no, it but doesn't in he, the first 10 minutes. Doesn't okay, he that's die cool. in I think he dies Batman, Batman versus Superman, Superman or something? That's yeah. why Superman's the Never shittest fucking superhero because you know he can't die. Man of Steel infuriated me. I almost walked out of the cinema. It was just two invincible people crooning a town mm. oh, no, in the bro. middle of America. I did think that that like stupid. like they like like Superman would be like, "Hey, can we fight over there?" Goku okay. does that when he's fighting Cell. He's like, "Let's have the Cell let's games get, out out of the city in space." You know, like the Matrix Three, the best of the Matrixes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's sad. I'll be honest, I never yeah. watched two. It's sad to get think, off my podcast. You've never seen the Matrix. That. I've never seen two or three. Oh no, why would you? Yeah, um, <laughs> good show. No, Okay, it's sad with Superman that the worst Smallville episode is yeah. better than the best Superman movie. True. True. Oh, miss, cool. Sorry. Have you seen Smallville? It's no. fucking fire. It actually is. Fire. He's a, he's he's 28 when he's playing the 16-year-old uh 
sophomore or whatever he is in high school. Oh, is he supposed to be 16? <laughs> what? Bro, Bro. Americans' Do TV they shows that? are so fucking Bro. weird. I realised as a 22-year-old that American Pie was supposed to be in high school. Have you seen Stifler in the first American Bro, Pie? That's something he's 50. <laughs> he's got the widow's peak, right? Yeah, he looks like he's on steroids. I thought the whole, when I watched it for the first time, when I was, when I was like 16, I thought that, oh, this is what American universities look like. And these kinds of like mature age students. Yeah, it kind of is, when you look at the, a movie poster, it's like a college, seems like a college film. Yeah. It works when every main character is the sort of same age. It's yeah. not as noticeable. When they get like one actual 16 year old amongst them, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, and then they make them yeah. like a love interest yeah. with like some 25 year old. And like, it's okay, their characters are 16. It's yeah, like, okay, like, oh. but in real life, that's a little bit Harvey Weinstein. That's a bit problematic, I think. Oh, well, that's a new not, word I've started using. Yeah, because all the you're people use it. Yeah, they love that. Po- yeah. Problematic. Yeah, that's, that's a bit good. Problematic. Have you had people come up to you after? show saying French. I think that was a little problematic. No, I was just reading some YouTube comments about other on other videos. And be honest, we, we've but. seen Frenchie's crowd. Do you reckon they know anything with more than two syllables? Oh my God. Some of them do. <laughs> Dude, that, I mean, your crowd was fascinating to watch the other night. <laughs> yeah, at one point, you just go to this guy, like he's just yelling out, he's just mumbling, yeah. but loudly. So mm. yelling, but it's mm. mumbling. And you just went... Could you please not do that again? <laughs> because he was just not making yeah. sense. And you were like, you gave him the time of day. You wrecked him in a yeah. funny way so mm. many times. Yeah, right. And then he just kept doing it. And then he threw up, you were like, oh, someone threw up a shooter to a shoey. And, and he threw up both his shoes. Both yeah, of them. Right, and you were like, right. I said, a shoe, what's wrong with you? It's uh, <laughs> it's getting hard work. It's getting hard work. I felt bad for you. I was like, this guy doesn't speak English, right. but he's yeah. Australian. I had I had that um at my Friday night show, I think, because Keelan, who grew up in Frankston, brought his older brother, who <sighs> grew up in Frankston, and oh, nice. also his mate, and they just kept yelling out. I said, "Who's from Frankston?" And then for the entire rest of the show, the whole night. Both of them kept yelling out at every punchline, the Pines, which is an area of Frankston that's really fucked. The Pines. Every time Keelan's going, stop, shush. Eventually his brother shuts up. His mate keeps going, the Pines. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Isn't Um, it crazy how simple some people are? They're like, mm, the repetition of this suburb will rip. And and no one knows (laughs) where the Pines is. How's this for life as a comedian? It's usually the people you give free tickets to who Mm. are the worst behaved. When your mates come in or your mates are mates, they're always fucking trouble. Yeah. Bro, my fucking... One one, one, one mate, it was one of my early shows. He was uh, a guy I used to live, we play soccer with. He started yelling out my address, my parents' address, <laughs> <laughs> just to fuck with me. I was like, Bro. That, that, that sucks. People pull out their phones, start writing it down. That's terrible. But I had to pretend I didn't know it. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't care where you live, fucking mm. nerd. <laughs> and then, with the, then he kept doing, no, Fringy, that's your yeah. address. <laughs> you know what I've started doing with people who want free tickets? I've started doing this. I start going, when they go, oh, can I get tickets? I go, yeah, man, loosebiz.com. Oh. And then they, if you want tickets, you've got to ask me, can I have tickets for free? You have to say That's it. cool. I'm not going to offer. I never offer. You have to ask. If it's my parents or like, you know, my real close friends, cool, I'll offer, but I'll never offer. And that's- then my thing is, a bunch of the people from misfits right not even the the misfits like youtube guys just the the minions around yeah, right yeah, yeah. uh they they were like oh we want to bring a big a big group down i'm like oh yeah so like three because now 15 i'm like oh, oh 15 all right oh. so i got my brother at the door to ask every single one of them individually uh and would you like to pay or are you coming in for free Every single one of them individually sold about five tickets. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Nice. So it's 10 of them had the balls to be like, I yeah. would like this for free. Right. Thank At least you. buy some merch. You know what I mean? I hate it when I get my mates in for free. And yeah. I'm like, get a $10 t shirt, bro. It's like, ah. <laughs> I'll get you a beer. I'm like, I get them for free. You can't die. <laughs> I literally I have them backstage. I don't want a fucking beer. Um, do you get hit up on Instagram mm-hmm. for promo codes by strangers? Oh, 
because they no, must see you get that a out. lot. You get that a lot. Dude, they must see it. Uh, this guy promo code for Melbourne good sir. I need that uh, percentage off to feed my kids. So I go use code Ruben for one cent off, which is from our podcast. Oh, that's funny. And then I go uh, enjoy those savings. If you buy one hundred tickets, you'll save one dollar. Then you can buy your kids some noodles. Yeah, you're good. welcome. You're good. Welcome. How dare you? That's yeah. funny. It's you crazy to me that fuck. people think they're just like so entitled. They're like, oh, oh mate, I'm a big fan. And so I'm a bit special. Also, especially like <laughs> uh, people going, oh, can I have free tickets? Can't, my job was illegal for 18 months. I booked mm. a tour, paid for it, yeah, cancelled it. All right? Especially no. you, you pay an accommodation. And oh, all this 100%. Stuff. But the, the craziest part is it's usually people who can afford it with yes. good money who have just been the fucking cheapest. Like, That's why they got cash. Like just all our best fans really. actually don't earn that much and they'll still buy all the fucking merch. They'll yeah, yeah. Them. That's why I, I really prey on the vulnerable like people who are like, bro, <laughs> come here, give it to me. That's our biggest market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like really, my comedy is like a payday loan service. Right. You know, get them in debt and fucking stream yeah, you for adver- You're advertising at Centrelink. Yeah, I am. I've got posters up and everything. I've been running online ads on the JobSeeker website just yeah. on the side. Nice. I've actually got a thing going. It's all complete bullshit. I run Facebook ads where I go, if you come to my show, it actually counts as a job application and interview. <laughs> and I, I sign people's sheets on the way That's out going, hilarious. oh, sorry, you didn't get the job, mate, but uh, I get my 35 bucks. <laughs> so they're living off Centrelink and so am I. That's actually fun to do because I accidentally got on <laughs> Job Seeker for a bit instead of Job Keeper. <laughs> so I had to apply for like five jobs a month, whatever it is. It was actually kind of fun initially. I was, bit, I was trying to get like jobs as lawyers and shit. <laughs> That's what you do. That's the play is because you just apply for high corporate level jobs that you'd never get. Yeah, Yeah. they won't even interview you. Or you apply for lowly 15-year-old jobs because they're way too old to employ you because they they can't pay you minimum wage. Then they might. No. What if they do? If you apply at Boost Juice, you will not get that job. What if they do just to fuck with you? Yeah. No, I had a, I had a you guy. Just they for feel a week sorry and quit. for you, or they think they can probably get you on like like special benefits or whatever. I don't know. You just quit. Yeah, you I just had a don't, guy. Don't t- take it. Guy came to my show on Centrelink, and we were doing this, talking about like, oh, you're applying for jobs. And he goes, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm just applying for every job, every job in Bendigo. And I go, oh, where do you live? And he goes, Geelong. <laughs> That's, <laughs> oh my that's God, so right. good. very good. Yeah, there's a guy, same thing at my show. It was on Centrelink and I was applying for jobs. I was like, oh, is there, was there one that you missed out on mm. that like, you applied as a joke, but then you're a little bit offended that they, you didn't actually get? And he goes, yeah. yeah, my local fish and chip shop knocked me back. Oh, fuck. Um, uh, Brutal. Yeah, McDonald's knocked me back when I was growing up. <laughs> really? Yeah. McDonald's has really high standards for a, for a business that never gets your order right. Yeah, I know. Because I, I, I got rejected from Macca's too. I really wanted to work out. Yeah, last year. Fun. Oh, last year. <laughs> it's a rough year. It was a very rough year, yeah. You couldn't fit in the drive through window, bro. <laughs> People be talking to your nipples. Um, I've got a question. Okay, okay. It's not, uh, it's half related, but I was actually interested. I was like, what YouTube channels do you guys watch at the moment? Mm. Is there any you see the subscription that pop up? You're like, I need to click on that. That aren't my friends? No, no, that aren't your friends. Yeah, see, I'm weird. I re- pretty much only watch... People I know. I like Cody Co. Cody Co. Yep. He's funny. Yeah. He's like, does a very relaxed version of what I think we do. Like very relaxed uh, commentary. Only because you have to turn mm. it down on YouTube. The days of being mean and criticizing other videos are gone. Oh, it's over, YouTube it? doesn't like it. They no, demonetize no. and stuff. Also, I think- He does it in a very I, uh, funny way. I got sick of it. I got sick of, because I used to, I used to really enjoy like, you know, taking people down and, and, and like deconstructing what- scams people were doing and I just got kind of fucking over it and also I think because that was such a big thing there are just less scams generally like it does happen now but I think people are a little bit more well behaved on YouTube because they don't want you know 60,000 commentary channels to come for their neck mm. I, 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 mine answers aren't interesting I like Gus oh, Johnson I was, I was just interested I could get, I like I could get even Johnson less too, interested than in that I won't click on the only thing I watch on YouTube now is like is like financial advice YouTubers and Cryptocurrency oh, shit, investing people. I like a, a guy I really like is Andre Jick, and he just talks about investing. And, one you linked me. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. good. What it about was it? good. <laughs> Real simple, yeah. made sense. I'm like, oh, cool. I could do this and make some money out of it. What about Long Beach Griffey? Do you watch him? Who? Bro, he's fucking fire. Who's he's that? Like, he's like a black comedian from uh, Long Beach, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he does like his last video. I watched it this morning. That's what I was thinking of it. It was if Gen Z, when Gen Z feminists have a baby. And it's fucking great. It's yeah, like, I, I only watch comedians. 
Yes. Yeah, some yeah. people think we're both into YouTube because we're like we're YouTubers, but like not comedians. That's I not only really watch like I watch like Andrew Schultz uh, oh, and like oh, that yeah. LA podcast scene. I yeah. watch a, a dabble in the podcast clips of uh, Theo. Vaughan I've started and watching stuff. this guy Chris Lee. I never used to watch him, but lately he's <laughs> lately he's, more interesting. Yeah, you just like <laughs> uh, something about him appealed to you more. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about his new stuff. His uh, he looks. You know what? I used to love his podcast, and uh, now it, if he looks haunted. Because he probably he is. He looks like Luke, day three of a festival. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His friends are just reaching out, going, man, you need to get some sleep, bro. I don't, like, I don't can't think, watch in the Snyder Cut. I don't <laughs> think his friends are reaching out. <laughs> no. That might be done. Um, hey, Frenchie, I've uh, I've got some uh, some life advice emails here to wrap up the episode. Perfect. Uh, I think this is a good one for us to tackle. Um, <clears throat> I love my girlfriend, but I want to fuck other girls. All right. Okay. This one's from... Uh, Welcome to any relationship ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, from Sam. Hey, Lewis, love the podcast. Thanks, mate. I've been supporting you for a long while and I'm glad to see all the success that is coming your way. Oh, nice. He, I think he's trying to fuck me too. Yeah, nice. Um, just call me George. All right, Sam, your name is now George. Uh, anyways, uh, you're gonna beep that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I really am I. Uh, <laughs> all right, George. Uh, George anyway, Georgie. Uh, anyways, I've been dating this girl for two and a bit years, and I love her a lot. But recently, more and more, I see other women, and I want to be able to have freedom in terms of sexual partners, and I want to be able to fuck who I want. I love my girlfriend so much, so it would really hurt to break up with her. But I haven't really been single since i was 18 and i want to explore my options cheers for any advice have a shit one love george for well, sam welcome to life welcome to if you're asking two guys who have always been in long-term relationships yep. and french use fun being singles fun <laughs> french use i was about to say now in a relationship but uh clearly yeah. has some yeah, regret right. so this is good real those devil's feelings, advocate uh, those feelings here. don't ever go away you'll always uh you have to fuck every other girl in the world until you can have a be relaxed in a relationship i think i, you, believe. I, I is think i think the answer I've been in a relationship since I was 18 and before that I did the rampage where I just, I just, I had my whirlwind of just anything that moved. Mm. Um, and, uh, my thoughts on it are, it seems like he hasn't had the rampage. Mm. I feel you like every man years and girls, girls have their slutty years. Yeah. Too. I feel like people need to have the, the fucking moment where they're like, ah, oh, where they're just animals or whatever, you know, consensually, of course. Um, to give the perspective that I have now, which is that's kind of empty. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Frenchie disagrees. <laughs> I, 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 th I think I did it. And the only thing fun, it did for me was it was fun. Which is like, oh, my balls are empty. That's <laughs> yeah, about it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, look, it, it's fun and it's awesome and it's a good time, but it kind of just makes you not like chicks is, was my experience because you don't really see the best in other people. I think it gives you a warped view of of women i think is when you do that you find people who are okay with that and they aren't always the best people you know i think the funniest part is that like is like when you're in a relationship especially early on you're like i'm gonna fuck so many girls if i'm ever single again mm. first eight months ten months of him being single he won't fucking get anything that's another thing because you think they're all there yeah. ready to just fucking like no it's a different world yeah that's what i mean it's like you're you in, might want to you've you been a caged chicks. lion for a while you're not ready to hunt bro yeah you're it's like you have hunt. the desire do you and have you also the ability got, and you also fucking break just broke other chick so you'll be fucked up for six months well, and also yeah. if you're emailing a podcast for advice oh, you're not you're not advice. fucking do much it, anyway do it mm. okay there's two options obviously just start fucking them or mm. break up and then fuck them or oh, stay with our three options. You should definitely yeah. do. But if you're already thinking about it, oh. the latter two. We would not recommend cheating. No, I don't, no, no, I no, no I'm a, not recommending, but I'm saying it's an option for some people. Here's what I think also. This sure, is another thing. It's an option. It's a, it's a, this is another killer. thing to consider. That's another option. Right? Options. This guy got together really young with his girlfriend, right? So they're like, I guess maybe. Kill himself. Five options. <laughs> Uh, I guess they're like young high school sweethearts. Here's another consideration. You will never get that again, ever. Yeah. If you break up with this girl. You will never get a pure girl again. You'll, you'll <laughs> never find someone who, uh, has this, who started on the same level as you, which was, you know, first love. You get one. Tell you right? what you should do. I've got a good idea. Mm -hmm. 
Just do it as a couple. Make it a little thing. That could work. Yeah. Like, like an open relationship or, or just do something. different characters. So just start like rule, rule intense role players. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not saying blackface. I'm not saying that. Well, no well, one's saying you that. You, no, it never. Like saying but I'm face. saying like no he's looking at different yeah. types of girls saying, I want to fuck this so different you, type of girl. Well, are we filming a few videos after French. this, Frenchie? Oh, yeah, we got to film some videos. Yeah. Uh, what's with all the shoe polish he brought? Uh, you'll find out. Was the Vegemite for an eating video? It was an eating video. Yeah. yeah. What, what are the, but the, the, like the red... We're not auditioning to be on Hey Hate Saturday ca- in the morning. Casting 90s. couch is starting soon, guys. The you? red lipstick <laughs> seems... Saturday, fuck the red, what's the red lipstick? And, um, and I think... Uh, the af- you brought like afros. It's just... Ooh. What are they What are they for? I don't really understand. Just putting on my invisible sunnies and I'm not here. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, fuck. Well, my... Shit. Look, I'm a strong advocate of a, of a strong relationship. No. If, if you have a good relationship, <laughs> all, you're gonna, no. all you're gonna find... <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, like... All you're gonna find gonna is, is just empty... Empty fucking and sucking. And it'll be fun for a couple of months and then you're just going to get a little bit lonely, I think, anyway. It's a tricky one, yeah. But it, it honestly, it comes down to... To what makes you both happy. <laughs> Xander's, Xander's stuck outside. Yeah. He's Xander! Fine. All right. I've got, a, yeah, I've got mates that fall into the emptiness. I think, and I so do I, I uh, think mate, that it, you need army. to disregard your uh, desire to fuck other women <laughs> and ev- and evaluate your relationship with this woman. If you have an amazing relationship, yeah. you need to try and Definitely. get past and get over the fucking and sucking desire. If you have a shitty relationship... Maybe that's the reason why the desire is there. Definitely, definitely, exactly. It's all about how good is your the original thing. If you feel like your soulmates, if yep. when you come, do you still want to fuck other girls? That's great. What you need to do, mate, is <laughs> is you need to jack off to this jack episode. Off. Listening always jack off before advice. you do anything. To be honest, yeah, you just have a clearer sense of that'll get you in some bad bad yeah. situations. Yeah, absolutely. Thinking with your dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Joining, so joining the war. Like enlisting, yeah. Like this rock hard dig, like let's fucking go. You come, you're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Before we head up to Townsville, I'll be, you know what I'll be doing here? I'll be beating <laughs> off just before I make that call. Fucking hell, yeah. How long until you start uh, hooking Training? up with the boys at war? At war, day three. <laughs> <laughs> but again, and it's a jack off day. on day and two. It's a four day war. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine if they, imagine if you like made that decision day three, and then like on the day four they called a truce, and you're like, oh, maybe I reacted a little. Well, little you know too what? Soon. You know what it is. This is a this is a consideration. I have a friend Greeley who went to prison. And he reckons, right, it, that it starts happening to other prisoners around year four where they're like, oh, you know what, the boys could be an option here. Mm. Around holes you, know, or you start thinking about there it you go. in, in lockup. So, you know, in World War II, that was, that was about four years. I feel like you wouldn't want to do it right at the end, would you? You do it literally and then the war ends like... Yeah, then you got to go home. I'm confused. Yeah, you're to like... your wife and kids. Well, yeah. you didn't get enough time to, to learn how to do it properly either. So you're just like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just a handies, I reckon, would be a good way to do it. But again, you can DIY that. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. true. Yeah. Especially when you've got like trench hand. You're not even feeling it. Yeah, true. And it's a bit soggy and wet. <laughs> anyway, I think we got to go. Let's end. Yeah. All right. That's the end of the episode. Thank you, Frenchy. Do you have anything to plug? No, thanks. Just go check me out. My podcast, Tom Frenchy podcast, or just check out our Luke and Lewis's shows. They're doing it all month in Melbourne. Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we, Luke and I both have shows every single night. Come and see us. Lucebeers.com for my boys. tickets. LukeKidgel.com for his. Every single night. No Mondays. Come see us. Oh, and there's one show where you, there's one show, one night where you can see us in a row. You can see me and then Luke. What When's day? this coming out? April 10th. April 10th. This Saturday. This Saturday. You can see me and then you can see Luke after. Come to that. All right. Goodbye.